So we made it to a new lake. What's this one called? In somewhere in Iowa. And uh, so we made it to this lake. And normally I do like a, an intro and I don't talk and vlog, but we just we just got to the lake. Cause we went fishing this morning. And I already made a video of that. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen that video, you should you should click that video. But we're making another video here, new lake. And uh, you guys can see the water is blue, so I'm probably going to dig up a chartreuse crankbait <laughs> and uh, use that and see if see if all uh, AP AP was correct. Welcome to another episode of AP Bassin. Chartreuse color because the water is a weirdish blue color, so it really stands out in the water. So that's what we're doing. We're at a new lake. Idiot. <laughs> I'm going to get the chartreuse crankbait out. Chartreuse crank bait. It's game over, boys. Got the poles. He's on. Sick. Yeah. Now so much. You guys call. You said he caught ten shorts. You mean red rock? Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, we're now we're talking. Absolute pigs. Donkeys only on the pair special. It's because I have the chartreuse. Uh, we, yeah, we found them. We can drop the poles now and uh, everyone get on the chartreuse cranks. Oh, it's on the point, that's why. Yeah, that point pointed out the fish for us. Got it. The old Peric Special chartreuse crank. Hey, buddy. Good God. Oh, what is, why is my, why can't I reel? I literally can't reel. All right. Reeling's a myth. Did you get him? I don't know. <laughs> no where's, way. Where's this? Hold on a second. What happened to it? <laughs> it's, uh, made a knot. He's, I think he got him on and he's over here now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what. That wasn't a small one. <laughs> You're going to catch it and say, never give up. <laughs> nope. Not on nope. I lost him. What? They're not supposed to stay on for 20 minutes? <laughs> no. I guess not. Myth busted. Well, I done goofed that one up pretty good. Oh, good old topwater Sanko. Can't beat it. Oh. That wasn't small. Wasn't big. Yeah, it was small. I just saw it. It was 8 inches. Gotta be in the open water. What is it? I'll get him. Oh, it's giant. Told you. I got him for you. Don't worry. Cheating. Just cheating with the sink over here. Oh, we got doubles. That's a dead gum stud. <laughs> we got doubles. Here we go. Doubles. We are just absolutely catching the slaunches right now. Mason. <laughs> Mason. Dad, come wind blown spot. Yeah, there'd be the mother load over here. I'm saying you are there, Joe. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Digging. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. This place has got the giant. You got these. You get the trolling motor after that catch. Yeah. I'm gonna move up in the rankings here. How much does it cost to mount a bass? Yeah. Oh, okay, just making sure. Uh, it's 10 bucks an inch, so that so one's about that 30 spot. bucks. Ooh. Ooh. Look at you. We're getting bigger. Oh, it's one eye wonder. That's why he didn't eat the chartreuse. Right? He's got one eye. The gills. Just he got a glimpse of the chartreuse and was like, oh, yeah, that's chartreuse. That's how they eat the movement. He threw about two feet of slack in the line. What's the opposite of a fire lake? This is it. I guess, yeah. Woogie. I don't know where I was going with that. I was just saying, wait. You guys were at, uh, I can't figure that out. Now? I just watched the video. Is that fish? Oh, yeah, that's fish. Oh, that's giant. Yep. Biggest one of the day. Get in here. Biggest one of the day. See you, Hercules. 
All right, well, I'm gonna go over the uh, p pattern that we've got dialed in because we're catching way too many big fish for me not to share the secret. The secret is, if it's calm, throw the weightless Senko. If there's wind blowing into it like rocks, throw a shallow crankbait. That's, that's our pattern. Or you can be like Ben and throw the whopper plopper and not catch fish, but if you want to do that, you can. You, bet. you can too. Oh, I had one off the tree. Bamba bass. I failed the Bamba bass challenge. Yep. <laughs> you had to let it sit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Backlash bass. Backlash bass. Welcome Dead to... stick of chatterbait. Welcome back to an episode of Backlash Bassin'. That's a... Uh... Chatterbait! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the pattern. Backlash Bassin'. Changing my YouTube channel. If you guys catch something, I'm pushing all three of you out of that boat. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. A few moments later. <laughs> what the f is this? I'm gonna throw you in the lake now. Throw him in! There's a flare for there. Hey, now all three of you go in the water. <laughs> oh, that's him. Throw his ass in. Um, I ain't out there. Little baby. <laughs> what was that, a crappie or a bass? Bass. How deep is it right there, about 10 foot? Yep. Welcome to Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> it's about 5 10. Yeah. You got about an hour or so to fish. There's like, is there another? You gotta sit here. You gotta sit here. Yeah. There's like another another lake, like over there. But, so we're gonna go there and uh, see if we can catch some more fish before we gotta go home and we gotta watch the Nebraska yeah. football game. We made it. He's holding his fishing poles on top of the car while driving. That's the way to do it. Welcome to Iowa, folks. <laughs> Mate to the second pound. Punching leaves, guys. Welcome to fall fishing in Iowa. This is how you catch the biggins. Leaf pattern. Back to you, reliable. Oh, it's gorgeous. Got it on that uh, leaf pattern. Big ends. There's a fish. Oh, we got a oh, sign of life. God. Sign of life. A catfish? Is it? No, it's a large mouth. Oh, baby. This side. Oh, look at those black spots on him. So it begins. Those little, can you see those little spots on there? It's weird. I thought that happens when there's like a large population of bass. That doesn't seem to be the case for this, this lake. He locked up from the other lake. Oh. Oh, okay. Sick of the competition. All right. Uh, what, do you, what am I calling you? Spots? All right. See you, Spots. There's way more cover on this gun. Yeah, that's what I was just about ready to say. We need to be able to... Oh, he came off. Oh, that was probably a five-pounder. New PB. Just going like that. Oh, I think I got a fish. Oh, it's fish! Oh, got him. Keep him down. Keep him down. Keep him down. It's a toad. Whoa! Look at that. There you go. Ooh. He's got it. Get it. Whoop! Skirt! Absolute launches today, boys. Senko's catching too many fish. Better put it away. Uh, that's a wrap for today. We're gonna go home. Well, we're gonna go to Joe's house and get some some food, eat some dinner. But I, I'm gonna do a quick little recap and try to teach you guys a couple things about fishing. Uh, what can you tell people about fishing this lake? I, I would strongly recommend going elsewhere. Yeah. In Iowa or the Midwest, and East just Coast anywhere, or Asia, wherever. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't. What was this place called? I don't remember. Just don't go here. I don't know where we're at, but just don't go. Let's call it the Parrick Lake, all right? We'll call it the Parrick Lake. So there's bluish bluish water, and they did eat a chartreuse crankbait. So we caught some fish. Moral of the, no, not moral. Lesson of the day, if it's calm, throw a Sanko. If it's windy, throw a Sanko. If it's sunny, throw a Sanko. And if it's cloudy, throw a Sanko. We're ending the day. We're gonna go, we're gonna go and eat some food. Just wanted to end it with some tips on how to catch flare fish. If you really wanna catch some flare fish, make sure to pick up a Sanko. And, uh, 
you'll catch some. And uh, chartreuse cranks, if it's bluish water. Do you want to like hit the hit the camera? All right, peace.